Hi, my name is Johnny Lee, and in this video I'm going to show you how to perform head tracking and create desktop virtual reality displays using the Nintendo Wii Remote. Now first, what do I mean by a desktop VR display? Well, when you think about most computer screens, they're typically used to display a flat image, a little bit like this picture in this picture frame. Even if the picture is of something 3D, uh, like a video game, the picture is still flat. So it doesn't change depending on what angle you view the screen at. A desktop VR display, however, is a little bit like taking the picture out of the picture frame and then just having the frame. Now the scene actually changes depending on what angle I view the screen at. So this essentially becomes a portal or a little window into another room. Now to do this, the computer needs to know the location of your head relative to the screen, and this is called head tracking. Now to perform head tracking, we're going to be using the Wii Remote and the sensor bar, but we're actually going to be using them backwards. We're going to put the Wii Remote next to the TV and actually move the sensor bar instead. The Wii Remote actually contains an infrared camera, and the sensor bar is simply two sources of infrared light. When the camera sees the two dots of light, it's going to give an approximate location of my head horizontally, vertically, and in distance from the screen. Okay, the tricky part is now we're going to have to find some way to mount the sensor bar onto our head. One common trick is to get a baseball cap and then mount the hardware to the cap. And this is definitely going to work, but it's a little bit goofy. So instead, some hardware stores sell these safety glasses with LEDs built in on the side meant to be used as headlamps. Now if you replace the LEDs with infrared ones, you essentially get your head mounted sensor bar and a nice sporty safety goggle form factor. Once we've created our head mounted sensor bar and I've connected my Wii Remote to my PC, we're ready to do some head tracking. Behind me is a demo program of a 3D room with some targets floating in it. Now because the effect only works for the person wearing the sensor bar, I'm going to have to show you the effect through a moving camera. Now to do this, I'm literally just going to hold the sensor bar at the base of the camera and move it around. Just a quick note, to power the sensor bar, I simply turn on my Wii after I've connected my Wii remote to my PC. First, I'm going to show you what it looks like without head tracking, which is what displays normally look like. You can see that although it's a picture of a 3D room, the image looks very two-dimensional and bound to the surface of the TV. Now with head tracking turned on, the TV actually looks like the entrance to a real room. Just like in real life, by moving our head around, we can look behind objects. And if you look really closely, some targets actually appear to be floating out in front of the screen, reaching into the real world. If we get closer to the screen, we get closer to the objects, and we can even get behind the ones floating in front of the screen. As I pull the camera back, keep an eye on the frontmost target. Head tracking provides the illusion that the target is actually floating directly above the laptop screen, far in front of the TV. Now using this picture of a football stadium, if you move right, you can see more of the field. If you move left, you can see more of the stands. And if you get closer to the screen, you see more of everything, just like a real window. If I use my IR glasses and keep the sensor bar on the TV, I can use a second Wii remote to point and shoot like any Wii game while also doing head tracking. So now ducking and shifting your body is actually meaningful to a game. You can also see now uh, how the perspective is incorrect if you are not the one wearing glasses. So head tracking for VR displays is only going to work for one person at a time. But for that one person, the 3D experience is going to be far more realistic and immersive than anything else we see in homes today. So if you're watching this and you're a Nintendo Wii game developer, I want to see some games. Anyway, as usual, you can visit my website to download this software and find out more information about my other Wiimote projects. Thanks for watching.